Tear-soaked reunion as those nurses who worked to save his life saw him for the first time smiling and happy since his release from the hospital. Uh, oh. It's an emotional reunion as these nurses get to see their patient for the first time since his release from the hospital. Oh, we have their former patient, 52-year-old Zibing Hu, is safe and sound after a scary nearly 50 days in the hospital. I totally didn't realize, you know, it gets such a severe. Uh, when I was basically admitted to the uh, uh, emergency, you know, uh, most of my time down there is basically I was in a coma. Uh, I think I kind of lost consciousness. Consciousness uh, after I was uh, admitted the night. He didn't open his eyes for more than seven weeks. When he first, when he goes to the hospital, we think it's no big deal. But the next morning, the doctor called me saying he's in the ICU already, used the ventilator. So it was like a scary time for us, you know. So when he rushed to the uh, regional hospital, um, they said he's not good, everything's bad, you know, like a roller coaster. He's getting better, bad, and then better again. Enter RGH nurse Sarah Catalano. Because this was so new and so scary and complicated, and also you were that sick, that they were really, really worried. Seeing you there and <laughs> well, happy and, and healthy you look did bring tears to my eyes because, boy, I, I don't know any of us would have would have bet on getting to this point. But nearly 50 days later, he was up and starting to recover. And all of a sudden, he was awake and he was sitting up in bed and he was no longer needing the vent. And now the trait came out and, oh my gosh, he doesn't need this kind of care anymore. Oh my gosh, he just walked the entire unit. Beating COVID-19 is something Hugh says he'll always be thankful for. I want to really say thank you. And the send all the doctors, nurses, social workers involved. You know, to 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 them probably just a daily job, but to me it means it's totally different. You know, basically they saved my life. He was released from the hospital in April at Rochester General Hospital. Rebecca Fath, News Eight. All right.